Hello everyone, welcome to the Googly Bushcraft channel. Okay, this is a response to an open tag video uh, from my friend Walt Revan Jr. Uh, check his uh, channel out in the description and uh, it's entitled My Beta Knives. Okay, so for me, that's my work knife. So let's have a look what I've got on me person at the moment. You be careful. Okay, so I've got this. This is this is the rocker knife that I did a review of recently, or more of an overview. I'm carrying this to work with me because basically I'm testing it. Uh, and I want to get as much use as possible out of it before I do a full review. But uh, I'm not using it. For all of the rough stuff, so this isn't a beta knife. Uh, it is looking quite filthy though. I've got a lot of black on it somehow. Uh, it looks like it's probably dye up my jacket. Uh, yeah, so uh, halters force. So what I use every day, and I really, really do knock about, and they take it is halters force this isn't something this is something i've just pulled out of my rucksack i'm not carrying this on me person today but this is this is what i normally use more than anything else is the old mora basic because i get them in the local hardware store they're five euros absolutely bomb proof uh and when you're talking about battening, I, I hit these with hammers. I do things to this that people complain when they see battening on videos. I really hammer these. And, uh, yeah, and, and they take it. Uh, there are a lot of cheap plastic knives available in Scandinavia. Not all of them take it. More of more of knives take it. The classics are more delicate. So be gentle with the classics. I I haven't broken one, but I've seen it happen. But Halter's Force, Mora, great knives. Uh, you'll see what I what I do to all of my knives, including including this one. All of my work knives. That is, is I take a pencil off. You know, because the uh, the three things that I need the most uh, is tape measure, which clips on my belt anyway, pencil, knife, uh, everything else I do with power tools. So, you know, I can't exactly fit a, uh, a chainsaw <laughs> on my belt. So, yeah, great knives. If you're looking for a bushcraft knife, uh, perfect. You know, you don't really need anything, anything better than this. They haven't got a 90 degree spine. Uh, all of mine, because I do use them for bushcraft too, all of mine quickly on the belt sander and 90 degrees. It's a matter of seconds if you've got a belt sander. A lot longer if you've got a file. I generally sharpen these on a belt sander as well. Uh, it's, not, it's not the best. I sharpen them at home as well on stones and on a strop. But they get abused. They lose their edge really quickly because I'm scraping ice, I'm scraping paint. They get really used for all sorts of things that, you know, you wouldn't want to use a knife that costs more than five euros for. Uh, so the edge doesn't last. You know, a quick pass over the belt sander and uh, at least usable again. So this one really needs some attention. But... You know, it still cuts wood, which is all I really need it to do. <laughs> yeah, wood, rope. Uh... So, in addition to that, I generally have a folder in my pocket. So, this is the Cold steel fin wolf, uh, Scandi grind, so it's great for working with wood. Uh, it's got a little thumb stud, or it had a little thumb stud. 
I remove that because that gets in the way of sharpening. So when we uh, when when we belt knife gets dull, I've got that in my pocket or something similar. I've actually I've actually got a couple of knives in my pocket at the moment. I usually only have one. Yeah, I've also got this little Mardini. I did a review of this recently. So this is a really nice little knife. Uh, it's slim. Uh, it's slim. It's cheap. And it's got a full flat grind on it, and I like a full flat, full flat, a bit of a tongue twister. I like a full flat grind on a folder uh, because I use it less for processing wood and more for other things. And I think a Scandi grind is great for processing wood, and uh, a full flat grind is better for pretty much everything else. Of course, you could go for some kind of a saber grind, which I think on a personally, I think on a Thick knife is pretty much as good as a Scandi grind for uh, for wood processing. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the fin wolf's got a really nice edge on it. Hardly gets used. Doesn't get used for any of the nasty stuff. This doesn't hold its edge quite quite as well. And also, maybe not quite as good for cutting wood. But, yeah, I use these a lot less, so they're generally sharper. Well, everyone, uh, that's about it, I think. Uh, please drop us a comment. Tell us what your beta knife is. Better still, do a video. And... Uh, I'll see you all again soon for another Googly Bushcraft video. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.